if a billion people had been spared the horror of the zombie infection, that would still leave more than five billion zombies on the planet. If only the odds had been that good. You play Apocalypse with a 60 card deck, which you can build out of any of the cards in the game. Every deck must have a stronghold, and only one stronghold. When you start the game, you put out your stronghold, you shuffle up your deck, and you deal yourself 8 cards. As the game goes on, you'll build a discard pile. You and your opponent are going to take turns. Each turn has 5 phases. The first phase is draw. You draw cards from your deck until you've got 8 cards in your hand. On the first turn, you've already got 8 cards, so you don't draw any. The second phase is occupation. You need to choose one location on the board which, right now, is either of the two strongholds. If you go first, you have to occupy your own stronghold. You can only play cards to your occupied location. There's no card cost, so you can play anything you want as long as it goes there. Survivors and their attachments go to your stronghold. You can also use the text on any cards there as long as it applies. You should always be familiar with what your cards do. The church text lets you get a civilian from your deck. There's no set order in which you have to make your plays. After using card text, you can play more cards, or, or vice versa. Let's move a few turns into the future. When you occupy your opponent's stronghold, you're going to play raiders. If you have any attachments or wild cards that work with your raiders, you can play them too. The next phase is scavenging. Scavenging helps you get cards back from your discard pile, and can be used as a strategy toward winning the game. Scavenging has a rule set all its own, so we've saved it for a separate video. For now, let's skip to the fourth phase of the game, which is combat. Every stronghold has access points. The first thing you do as an attacker is break up your raiders into attack groups. You can attack as many or as few of the access points as you want. As the defender, you now have to send your survivors to defend those access points. You can send as many or as few survivors as you want to each access point. You can even leave some out of the battle. Combat at an access point is called an engagement. You handle the engagements one at a time. West Trenton attacks at 1. Cinda's defense is 2, but she gets a bonus from the baseball bat she's holding. To find out the wounds, just subtract her defense from his attack. It's less than 0, so he didn't do anything. Now she gets to attack back. She attacks at 1 and gets a bonus from the bat. Wes only defends at 1. The difference between her attack and his defense is 1, so he takes a wound. That wound comes off of his value, which is 3, so it's not enough to kill him. We say he's wounded. When a character is wounded, it's recycled, which means you put it back under your deck. Let's move on to the next engagement, Civilian versus Cult Fanatic. The civilian player decides to play a trump from his hand. Trumps are purple, and they can be played at any time. The Stand Together trump lets the civilians in an engagement add their value to their attack and defense. Combat here works the same way as it did between Wes and Cinda. The Cult Fanatic attacks at 3. The civilian defends at 2, but gets his value added in because of the trump. Since the difference is below 0, the cultist could not hurt the civilian. The civilian attacks back at 1 and gets the bonus from the trump. The cultist only defends at 1. He takes 2 wounds. With a value of only 1 to absorb those wounds, the cult fanatic is killed. The used trump goes to the discard pile. Dead character also goes to the discard pile. The next engagement has two cult fanatics versus two civilians. The combat process is the same, but you add up the attacks and defenses of all the characters on each side of the engagement. This gives the cult fanatics a total attack of six, while the civilians only defend at four. The civilians are going to take two wounds. Each civilian has a value of two, but you can't split up the wounds. One of those civilians is going to die. The civilians still get to fight back, but only attack at a combined two. The cult fanatics defend at a combined two. Since the difference is zero, the fanatics don't take any wounds. And the dead civilian goes to the discard pile. Finally, we're left with the two cult fanatics at the last undefended access point. These two guys break into the stronghold. Each stronghold has a damage characteristic. When a raider breaks through, it does this much damage. Two raiders got through here, and the damage is three, so your church is taking six damage. Damage means consumption of resources. 
which generally means cards from your deck. There's more than one way to consume resources, but we'll cover that in the next phase. For now, six cards come off the top of the deck and go to the discard pile. The raiders who survived hang around to attack again next turn. Survivors never attack. This is why occupation is so important. During each turn, each player has to decide whether to attack or defend. The wrong choice can be devastating. The last phase of the turn is consumption. You need to feed your survivors. You have to consume one resource for each survivor at your stronghold. Discarding a card off the top of your deck is one resource. Discarding two cards from your hand is also one resource. So in this case, where there are three police officers, you can discard three cards off your deck. Or you can lose two from your deck, and then two from your hand for that last resource. If you don't like those options, you can also consume survivors for their value. Since a police officer's value is three, consuming one of them covers all the consumption for this example. With a variety of cards available, Apocalypse is both expandable and customizable. Please visit our website at ninekingdoms.com, N-I-N-E kingdoms.com, for more information on the game. And check out our other instructional videos for scavenging in our expansions. Thanks for watching, and welcome to the Apocalypse.